and new at six right now, a family living in fear after a woman was bashed in the head with a rock. The victim, 62-year-old Guaying Ma, was attacked Friday morning in North Corona in Queens. She is still recovering in the hospital, and her attacker, her accused attacker, set to appear in court tomorrow. But we learned today the suspect has a long criminal record dating back to 2009. As CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports, the family is nervous that he could come back on the streets once again. The husband of 62-year-old Guiying Ma is losing hope she will wake up after more than four days in a coma. Through a translator, he told us, My sky was fallen. It's very difficult for me. The morning after Thanksgiving, around 8 a.m., police say as a favor, Ma was sweeping her landlord and family friend's property, which is behind the scaffolding on 38th Avenue, when 33-year-old Elisol Perez started a verbal dispute and threw a rock at her. I feel guilty because she's helping me. Cops say surveillance video shows even after she fell to the ground, Perez threw the rock at her again. Nearby residents say police have been called about Perez before, who sleeps in the street. I'm not satisfied about the justice system. Records show Perez, who also goes by Jose Claro, has 14 prior arrests dating back to 2009. In the last year across Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan, several have been for public lewdness, drug possession, and larceny. Back in September, he allegedly struck another Asian woman in the back of the head with a piece of wood in Queens. He was charged with third degree assault, a misdemeanor, which means a judge could not hold him on bail, and he was released. This is the first offense that could potentially keep Perez in jail. His attorney at the Queen's Defenders declined to comment on this or any other cases. For the attack on Ma, he's facing first-degree assault, a felony, which a grand jury could indict him on Wednesday. Jennifer Wu is a partner at the law firm Paul Weiss and is helping the family pro bono along with colleague and former U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Where the people who are grandmothers who are sort of what we hold up in the Asian community to be people we look up to are being attacked. That's really an attack on the entire community and our entire culture. The NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force is investigating. In Corona, Queens, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.